Plaintiff Teresita Phillips says growing up was hard because her mom and her uncle, the defendant, were both on drugs. Teresita says her uncle has repeatedly stolen from her to support his crack addiction. She's suing for her property. Defendant Robert Phillips says he's been haunted by a crack addiction since 1988, despite several visits to rehab. Robert is sorry for the hurt he's caused, but he believes Teresita is wrong about the money. He's countersuing for moving expenses. Start with you. Okay, I want to first off start off by saying that I watch your show every day and thank you for allowing me to come here. I really appreciate you for that. Yeah. I know that over watching your show over the years that you are the leading expert on, you know, streets and people that sometimes are on drugs. I don't know about yeah. leading expert. <laughs> <laughs> I know well, a little we feel bit. Like it. Um, yeah, so my cousins from the neighborhood, they're the leading experts <laughs> in, in the front row. <laughs> I forgot a lot of the game, <laughs> but they still see it every day. <laughs> Go ahead. It, it was kind of hard for me growing up, sir. As a child, you know, my mom and my uncle were both on drugs. My mom has been clean for the past four years and has really turned her life around. Is your mom here? Good. Yes, sir. Congratulations. But my uncle, on the other hand, has still chosen to make some bad decisions sometimes. What do you mean by that? Is he still a dope fiend or not? I don't know if he's still on drugs because uh -huh. I'm not there every day. But okay. just recently, in 2010, he stole from me again. Cool. So I have evidence in police reports. Plaintiff Teresita Phillips is suing her uncle because she claims he has repeatedly stolen from her to support his crack addiction. Let me allow him to give some background. I'm here today. Uh, I've been having problems with crack addiction since 88. Mm -hmm. it's, been a, it's been a monster on me that I can't even explain it. Uh, back and forth from penitentiaries and everything else about it. Um, I've broken my family hard. How many times you've been in rehab? Uh, I've been in rehab several times too, but most recently uh, last uh, uh, December through January. Mm -hmm. uh, the thing is, is that um, I'm here today is because uh, I have to make atonement, and I have to, but I also have to set the record straight for me. And I need to do this because my niece can have an explosive temper to where she will cuss out whoever of her elders without any regard. When her anger is gone, it's gone. And so it's my fault that it sparked. So I do have to answer for what my part in it. And uh, I will be as truthful with you and everything as I can today. Uh, I think we might have some discrepancies with them numbers, though. <laughs> when the last time you smoked crack? <laughs> hmm? Oh, uh, oh, uh, December the 4th. December the 4th. All right. You still got the game. <laughs> I know that. So far, I'm convinced that you're a clean man. Yes, sir. Go ahead, young lady. What happened? In um, 2007, um, I had just recently had my first daughter, and my uncle and my mom had came over to visit. My mom stayed across the street in some apartments, and I stayed in the apartments on the other side. When they left, I thought I locked my door. Everything was fine. I wake up the next day, my house ransacked. I'm like, how? When I, you know, I call my mom, and she says, well, I don't know where your uncle at. Let me track him down. And come to find out, he didn't stole all my rings, my rent money, palm, my missile, like my scrap jewelry. Um, she had, sorry, but she had tracked some guy down, some dope dealer, and she bought one of my rings back, but it was all broke and chipped up and cut at the bottom. How much at one time did he take, or allegedly? That, that day, he took 10 rings, $700 in money, and a bag of scrap jewelry that I paid $110 to get back from the pawn shop. I have my pawn receipt right here if you want that. Did you do it? Uh, uh, did I did I do the theft? Yes. Did was it was it that kind of value she's talking and all that? No, not at all. Let me see that, please. What value was it? She had some rings. She had them rings that you kind of like get in Kmart mm -hmm. for like thirty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> she had she she had a, she had a bunch of those. She had a bunch of those. What the people what the people gave me the money for, Your Honor, was for the broken up chains. She had broken up uh, uh, chains. So they gave me. They gave me the money for the weight of that gold. Awesome. They didn't even really want the rings, but I think they gave me $5 for a couple of them. The rest of them I even threw in the garbage can right there. I'm looking at what they gave you. They gave you $110. Okay. That was for the scrap jewelry. I also have a breakdown of all of my rings that he took. All right. There you go. 
You don't have Oh, he sold the rings, he you believe? He sold the scrap jewelry you to the pawn shop. Please, please. State Your, your name. It's, I'm very glad to meet you. And Doyle. Mm -hmm. um, I you have a name? You tell me that. Phillips. I ain't gonna check you for warrants. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm good. I'm, yeah, good. I'm you, so good now. You say I've you're clean been now. In my right. life. I'm, I'm excellent. As she explained, uh, at one point all of us was, were on drugs and we mm -hmm. all struggled with it. It was a, a one serious demon on, mm -hmm. on my back personally. But um, when this happened with the rings and the money, she called me. I, at that time, I was in the process of getting just beginning to get clean. I went to the dope dealer found the dope devil in the project, retrieved the ring, paid for it. I went to him where he was at getting high and said, look, Robert, you, you, you got to tell me what this jury and stuff, this girl's going crazy. Why would you take her stuff? He finally broke down, gave her the pawn receipt. I know for a fact they weren't Kmart rings because half of them I gave to her, 80% of them in, her, in my addiction, and I got money. I knew how to go take a good pair of rings from somebody, you know what I'm saying? So it wasn't junk. <laughs> I'm not going to even lie on myself. I was out hitting licks, you know what I'm saying? And I, I said, okay, <laughs> with my own guilt, let me go slab my daughter ring knowing I'm out here smoking crack. I mean, I'm, you know what I'm saying? So there weren't no Kmart rings in there. My brother's a wonderful person. He'll do anything in the world for you, but when he's on drugs, He's a thief. He'll steal the black out your robe. He would take your nah. gavel. <laughs> he would take your gavel, baby, and sell it to Judge Joe Brown. It's he whatever. Said, he'd take my gavel and yes. sell it to Joe Brown. Yeah. So and other than that, he's, he's, he'll do anything for you. He What's your understanding of the last time he was a user? He's not. He has not been using. My brother lives with me. Mm -hmm. Okay. And because of that, because he stepped up to the plate and he's really fighting, he's the last one out of five of us. My, broke my mother's heart that got clean. I have a sister of 21, 22 years clean. We went through it. You know, when it hit in the 80s, it hit hard. Yep. And then it had no retribution on who it hit. You know, so as long as he's willing to stand up and do what he got to do, I'm going to always be there for him. You know what I'm saying? So he's not been using. Good. But when he did, who are we? <laughs> I mean, we all did what we did, but Robert just didn't care who we did it to. Plaintiff Teresita Phillips is suing her uncle because she claims he has repeatedly stolen from her to support his crack addiction. What did you take? Okay, okay. What do you admit to taking? Go I ahead. Admit to, I admit to, on the cash part, I admit to taking $70. Let me tell you the story how it went. I had moved some furniture that she had bought from some people on our side of, of the street. She, was, she bought a bunch of appliances and stuff from this guy. I moved this stuff over there with carts and everything. She, she uh, uh, that whole night, when I turned around and asked her, to pay me for She looked at me and said, she never said she was gonna give me nothing. When she laid down, I laid down, she went to sleep. I did go in her pocket and I took $70. Mm -hmm. The next day, it was 240. About three, four days later, it was 400 and something. <laughs> the, now it's 700, now it's 700. <laughs> that's exactly what it was, that, that, uh, how about That's exactly the, what it was, it was $70. It was a 20 and a $50 jewelry? bill. Jewelry. Oh, okay, the jewelry, that was another occasion. Oh, that was a separate occasion? That was occasion? another occasion altogether. Uh, but, but it was only a few days later. Now, you know I know, and you know as well, <laughs> when you're smoking crack, a few days A few means days later, just a few one days hour. later. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's true. Right. You know that's that. That's right. true. That is right. That is right, Your Honor. I, listen, I lost the day so, the minute I'm time. like you. It was the same <laughs> it time. It was the same day. Go ahead. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead, so, okay, sir. So, so what, I'm going to tell you what happened this particular night. She was in there. Uh, she was in her house sleep. Her door was open for whatever reason. I went in the house and I took an, I, and I went for an opportunity because I was getting high. Television? And Maybe I missed this that. This was a whole separate incident, mm -hmm. but I do have my police report concerning that okay. incident if you would like to see it. And you mentioned the items? Yes. You mentioned the money, mm -hmm. the amount. What else do you want to tell me about the stolen in, television? Oh, then in it's May of 2011, last year, my grandmother's birthday is right around Mother's Day. So normally we have her a Mother's Day get together where all the mothers come and then we have my grandma a birthday dinner. So we had my grandma's birthday dinner, everybody came. I bought my grandma a pair of like gold hoops. My mom bought her a pair of gold earrings and my mom bought her a brand new set of luggage. She was gonna take a vacation. So I don't know, I guess him and his brother, which is my other uncle, had went out drinking. And when they came home that night drunk, my grandma gave him a piece of her mind. So she goes in her room and shuts her door. So she calls me the next day in tears. You know, she didn't really want to say it. My grandfather takes the phone and he's like, he took your TV. Huh? And I had just got this 50 inch out of layaway. Mm, I've been paying mm, on mm. it. I had witnessed my neighbor get yeah. robbed a couple weeks before that. So I said, Did you confront him about the television? Of what course. did he say? He. <laughs> 
<laughs> you tell me. He said me. that, what, what do I want from him? So we're down here in the drug area, ready to fight the dope boy. He don't want to give up the TV. And he's talking about he sold it the night before, and I got to chop uh, that up we, to the street. We yeah. going through the street thing. It was crazy, but yes, it happened. Sir, why don't you think you should pay for that, or do you agree you owe for the television? I agree I owe for the television, Your Honor. Plaintiff Teresita Phillips is suing her uncle because she claims he has repeatedly stolen from her to support his crack addiction. The counterclaim is for moving expenses. How does she owe you? Okay, uh, f okay, first of all, before I go to the counterclaim, let me go to the uh, part about me, because when this thing happened back with the jury and stuff, she was coming to me every month to get $100 back. Who? At my niece. Uh huh. And I was giving her this $100. Uh, I did it for about four months. Mm -hmm. One night she came over to my sister's house and bought up, oh, I want my money, blah, 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 blah. And I said, well, I said, I ain't giving you nothing else. And she went <laughs> and spit straight in my eye. I was, I was rubbing spit out my eye for two days. <laughs> and, 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 and that's what she does when she gets angry. in your eye that took two days to get out. That's what she, that's what she, that's what she does oh, when she gets angry. chemicals and floating into your eye. <laughs> that's, what she, that's what she does when she gets angry. I said, okay, I'm, I'm really good. You really don't even need to holler at me about nothing else Bam. That kind of died away after that. Then I sparked it up again when I did this moving TV thing. Expenses, now, so sir, far, moving far, expenses. How does she owe you for because, moving expenses? Be, because, because in the last uh, three to four years, she has moved about three or four times. I helped her at least three of them okay. times, all by myself, not these boyfriends from the lo local stores, me, her uncle Robert, <laughs> and, and she and worked me like a mule. She owns a whole lot of stuff, a whole lot of stuff. And I did it myself. Was anything missing? <laughs> right. Was it? What no. was missing? Ain't it no wasn't me. anything missing. So you are clean. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, if a crackhead is helping you move and nothing comes up missing, up missing <laughs> that doesn't go together. Yeah, All right. Don't come up missing. Uh, did she agree to pay you, sir? Uh, no. No. <laughs> no. No. Then tell him thank you because That's that was it. a gift. And I fed him and only... I bought him beer. All right. <laughs> you can only retrieve uh, monies for work that you did if there was an agreement to pay you. So I'm going to have to dismiss your claim. Ma'am, I believe you were honest with the police. Therefore, I will give you the uh, amount you're requesting. Based on the police report, you listed all the items. The television he admits to taking as well. Therefore, I'll grant your judgment. 4100 $51. Your claim is dismissed. He never agreed to pay you to help her move. That was a gift. Thank All right, you, have a good day. Thank good luck you. to you. Oh. Robert, I just want to say that I love you and thank you for coming. I appreciate you. I hope you get your life together, okay? I want to see you do good, ever. Uncle. I want to see my him. Uncle do good. I just want my brother back. He's a wonderful brother. And there's so I just love you. He's, he's a wonderful person. <laughs> oh boy, I'm crying. I gotta go. <laughs>